Okay, we're going to tie the clove hitch to a charge hoist line to hoist it. First thing is um, my hose line is on the right side of the rope, my body's on the left side of the rope. I'm going to kneel down at the rope. My, I'm facing the building, the bag would be the base of my building simulated here. I'm going to take my left palm, turn it up, my left thumb should point towards the base of the building. I'm going to lay the rope across my left hand. I'm going to pull off just a little bit more here so I can make my clove hitch appropriate length. Make the OK sign. Wrap three fingers and stand that up. I'm going to make this hitch just a little bit bigger. I'm going to do the same thing. Wrap three fingers and stand that up. So now I have my clove hitch tied. I'm just going to slide it over the nozzle, over the bale, around the pistol group, grip, down, a foot past the coupling. I can sink my clove hitch down now. I got it tight enough. I'm going to come under the hose so I can do my overhand safety knot. I've got my standing part here. I'm going around the rope and my finger. And then my left finger is pointing the way out. So it's just going to follow this right back out. Sync that up close to the base of my clove hitch. Now, what I need to do next is in this standing part make a bite so that I can keep the bail locked closed. So if I make my bite, I'm going around the tip of the nozzle back around the pistol grip. So what that does is it, when we hoist with this rope, it keeps the bale closed so we don't have a discharge of the hose line. Last thing to finish that off is a half hitch around the nozzle itself. So left hand, left palm up, okay sign, wrap three fingers. I got my half hitch there. I can slide that over the top of the nozzle and I just adjust it out. Take the slack out of it. So it keeps that half hitch, helps hold my bale closed when I hoist now. So that's it. The rest of the hose line is used as the tagline, so there's no need to, for a tagline there at all.